people on Snow Hill had the opportunity to sit down with local officials to learn more about their role in the community today. Organizers say this was an effort to bridge the gap between the community and law enforcement. Now to your side's Abigail Velez has more on the event. It was a morning full of crucial conversations at the Victory and Dominion Family Life Center. Well, so many times we have so many challenges in the world, and a lot of times it's just misinformation um, or not understanding what's going on. So today's event was for those people and officials to come together and explain and communicate with us on what we can do and also understand what they do as well. Demetrius Robinson is a hope coach with the Young Eagles SOAR Initiative, or the YES Initiative. She says this forum was a safe environment for people to ask questions. Kavon Shepard is also a hope coach, and he says this event was to help bridge the gap between officials and the community. Because right now, the relationship between law enforcement uh, and the community, especially minority community, um, it's, it's not in a good place. But we also recognize the fact that uh, our law enforcement have a hard job. Kinston Mayor Don Hardy was one of the speakers at today's event, and he says it's important to listen and invest in our local youth. Our youth here uh, is going to be the, 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 the future. So having conversations with our youth, um, having to understand like what's going on and giving us some insight of what they see is wrong in their communities is a big deal. The YES Initiative says although they're a new organization, they're here to stay. That we want to make sure that the community is growing into a positive way and shining light on a dark world. And so basically that's what YES is all about. Somebody say YES. In Snow Hill, Abigail Velez 9 on your side.